Hi everyone, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness, and this is circuit training. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. In circuit training, we do eight exercises that last for 40 seconds a piece. First exercise, we're gonna do legs, we're gonna do a reverse lunge. So as always in this class, if you've taken this class before, you can do a set of squats if you don't feel comfortable doing a type of lunging. If you want to do a lunge, I'm going to face towards the wall. You don't have to. You can stand sideways. You can be in the middle of the room. That's totally up to you. You're going to step in a reverse direction. So we keep this front knee nice and still, not going in a forward direction. Always in reverse. And we're going to just stick with one leg. So for this first round, I need to do your right leg. So let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Right leg stepping back, going back up. You can always just do squats if you don't feel comfortable doing any type of lunging. Just do a round of squats. Make sure you do them nice and slow. If you want it hard, you can go lower the ground with a knee. If you need it a little easier, don't go that deep. So you can go very small or you can go deeper depending on what you feel. Let's go two more. Last one. Okay. Next up, we're going to do a reverse grip bent over a row. So when you grab a weight, you can grab a heavier one if you have an option. Um, we're going to do a back exercise. So your back can definitely handle a little bit more. I'm going to use a chair just to lean forward. You can use your leg or a chair or anything around you. So reverse grip just means this is a normal row. We're going to turn the hand so the palm faces away from you, okay? And then you're gonna pull back more towards your hip and then let the weight down, arm straightens down. So let's go with right hand with the weight. We're gonna get our left foot out in front, our left hand out in front. Nice forward lean. And here we go, pull back, drag your elbow really close to your side. All right, you wanna keep it nice and close, real safe for the shoulder. Do it slowly, you don't want that arm coming down quickly. We wanna go up smooth and down smooth. We got two more to go. Last one. Okay, we're gonna stand up nice and tall. You do not need a weight for the next one. All you're gonna need is a wall. We're gonna do wall sit. So you're gonna need a nice flat wall, empty space. Wall sit, you put your back against the wall. You walk your feet way out in front. This is where we slide down. We're gonna push all our weight into our heels. So I'll talk you through it, but go find a spot on the wall. And we're going to walk your feet out far enough in front so that when we slide down, our knees are over our ankles, straight down, okay? And so let me get started. We'll do that. So get your feet out in front, slide down, push all your weight through your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. You never want your hips lower than your knees also, so, so make sure that your hips aren't lower than your knees. So you got your knees over your ankles. Hips aren't lower than your knees. If you do that and you push in your heels, you'll have a nice safe exercise. You won't have any pressure on your knees. We need to keep holding it. You got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Slide up, come back to the front, and grab a weight. Um, a decent weight for this would be five pounds, give or take. We're going to do a driver. So, we've done this in this class before. You're going to hold on to the ends. This is a core and shoulder exercise. Take a nice wide stance. You're going to tighten your wraps before we lift every time. So, you tighten your core, you lift up to your shoulder height. We rotate it, we rotate it, we bring it back down, we relax the core. Then we tighten it, and we lift, and we do it all over again, okay? Let's go 40 seconds. 
Here we go. I'm not sure I can give you more so I'll find a way to wait. Keep your core tight. We don't want to lean back. We do not want to use our lower back. Keep the pressure off your lower back. You gotta keep your abs nice and tight when you do this. Two more. Last one. Good. All right, bring your weights with you. We're going to come down to the ground. As you come down, I'm going to start to show you the first one. We're going to do mountain climbers today. So mountain climbers, you're going to go hands and knees to start. So the mountain climber looks like, I'm going to show you a modified version first. So modified is you come up on the hands and the toes now. You're going to bring one leg in at a time, like this. If you want it harder, you just go at a quicker pace. Okay? So you can go slow or you can go quick. We're going to start hands and knees to start. So we have to draw the hands and knees position. Alright, and here we go, we're up, one leg at a time. You can do one leg slowly, or you can go at a much quicker pace. I'm going to do a much slower pace, but don't feel like you have to go as slow as me, you can go much quicker. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, come down nice and easy. All right, we're lying her back. I'm going to bring your weights with you. We're doing an overhead pullover. This is a back, core, and a little bit of chest exercise. So you're going to lie on your back. This one, you don't have to do it yet, but I'm going to show you. Go straight up in the air with the weights. You're going to go nice straight arms up overhead slowly. You can go as far as your shoulders allow you to. If you can go to the weight, go to the ground with the weights, go to the ground. If they don't like it, don't force it, okay? So grab your weight. Have the bent knees. You can bring the weights right into your body. All right, so we go straight up in the air. Place the weights together. Overhead, here we go. Make sure you're doing it very slowly up overhead. Got one more. Good. Pull the weight in. You can place those to the side. We're going to face towards the ground for the last two. First one's going to be a Superman. So Superman is going to lie flat on the ground. What Superman looks like is you're going to, there's two options. I'll show you the modified version first. Modified version is you're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, lift up off the ground. Like so. Okay. More advanced version is, is to lift the arms and the legs all off the ground at the same time. So you kind of lift up all limbs. Okay. So you can do every other or all together is a more advanced version. Okay. So face towards the ground. We'll go in three, two, one. Go ahead. And you do a modified version, but if you can do it in advance, I want you to do it in advance. Okay, make sure your head stays down. You don't want to try to be looking up. Let's we'll take the strain off of your neck. So try to keep your head down towards the ground. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a break. Stay facing towards the ground. This is the last one we're going to do with a plank. And if you've taken this class, you're very familiar with this one. You can do off the knees for a modified plank. A more advanced plank would be up on the toes and pressing your whole body up in the air. So you do off the knees as modified, on the toes is a regular plank. I'll let you pick which one you want to do. We're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. If you feel anything in your low back, make sure you just lift your hips up a little bit higher. Fifteen seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can come on down. All right, come back up to a stand, take a break, have a drink. We're going to take a good 30 second, 40 second break, and we'll do round two. Get set up for round two. We're going to start with our reverse lunge. Okay, so reverse lunge. Left leg this time. Or you can do your round of squats if you don't want to do any lunging. You're going to step back with the left. Drop down. You can either go to the ground or keep it much smaller. You can just go down just a little bit, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. front. I'm going to use a chair again. You can use anything around you or your leg. You just want to have a nice forward lean. This is where we're going to turn the hand so the palm faces away from us. We pull back towards the hip a little bit more, okay? So make sure you have a nice forward lean. And here we go. your way down. All right, we have a wall set. We'll grab a space on a blank wall. All right, back against the wall. We're going to walk the feet far enough out in front so our knees are over our ankles, straight down. Okay, we're going to slide down. Here we go. Push all your weight into your heels, not your toes. Hold it. Good. 
good. Keep going. Always make sure your hips aren't lower than your knees. It's going to put way too much pressure on your knees. And this one, if you do it right, you can have a nice exercise. If you do it wrong, you're going to hurt your knees. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, take a break. Come on up. You don't want one single dumbbell for the next one. Drivers, you're going to hold on to the ends. Stand up tall. Tighten your abs, we lift, we rotate, rotate, bring it back down, okay? So that's gonna be our rhythm. Make sure you tighten up your core when you do it. We'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, tight core, eyes up, rotate, rotate, bring it back down. You can relax the core. Just make sure you gotta tighten it back up before you lift again. We got three more. Two to go. Last one. Good. All right, bring the weights down to the ground with you. We're gonna make our way back down. First one we're gonna do is the mountain climber again. That's where we start on the hands and knees. We prop ourselves up. We do either one at a time slowly, or you can go much quicker if you wanna do a fast mountain climber. I'll leave that option up to you if you wanna go aggressive or nice and, I shouldn't say nice and easier than the other way. All right, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, we're up. Again, I'm going to do the slower version. You can go quicker than me, though. Don't feel like you have to go slow with me. Me, 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 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and you come down. All right. Good job. Grab your weights, lie on your back. You don't have to get started yet, but you can bring your weights into your body, relax them right in your torso. Okay, this is where we put our arms straight up in the air. I'm just going to have you do it with me. So arms go straight up. You're going to click the weights together. We're going to go slowly up overhead, all right? Here we go. Slowly overhead, nice tight core. And then pull all the way back to the top. Ten seconds. Go two more. Final one. Okay, bring your weights in, place those off to the sides. All right, we're going to face towards the ground for the Superman. Modified version would be to alternate an arm and a leg. More advanced version would be to lift all arms and legs up off the ground at the same time. Okay. So I'll leave which option you want to do. Face towards the ground. You can go opposite arm, opposite leg, or all together at the same time. Move three, two, one, go ahead. 
Make sure your head stays down. If you're watching me, I'm going to do the opposite arm, opposite leg. Stay facing the ground. We have a plank next. You can do it off the knees for a modified plank, off the toes for a regular one. All right, we'll go in about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Nice smooth breathing. Don't let your hips drop down to the ground. Keep your hips up. 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down easy. All right, you can make your way back up. We'll take another last break. We do three rounds in circuit training, so we'll take one more break and then we'll do our third and final round. All right, let's go third round. We're gonna go a little quicker on this one. So we have a reverse lunge. This time we're gonna alternate each leg each time, okay? Let's go in five, four, three, two, here we go. Good, keep going, we got 15 seconds to go. Let's grab one single weight. We're going to do our reverse grip rows. You can start with either hand because we're going to do both sides. So I'm going to go left hand to start with my right foot and the right arm around the front. But you can do the opposite. You turn the hand away from your body and then you're going to pull up towards your hip. All right. Good forward lean. Here we go. One more. Okay, change hands, change your feet. Here we go. Last one. Good. All right. We'll stand up. All right. We have our wall. So you can go grab a spot on a blank wall, empty wall. Our backs are going to go against the wall. You're going to walk your feet far enough out in front that your knees don't go over your, they don't go further over your ankles. You want them directly above your ankles. Okay. So let's slide down. And here we go, hold it. All right, we're looking good. Make sure all your weights get pushed, uh, pressed through your heels, not your toes. Five. Four, three, 
two, one. All right. Come on back up. Come back to the front. And we'll grab a single weight. Five pounds-ish, give or take, depending on how you feel. All right. This is going to be our driver where we tighten our core, lift up, rotate, rotate, and bring it back down. Okay? And let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Keep your core tight. Don't forget about tightening up the core before each lift. Here we go for the last one. Good. All right, make our way back down to the ground. Bring your weights with you. First one is a mountain climber. We'll go in about 10 seconds. I'll give you a little more time to come down. You're going to be on your hands and your knees to start. That's where you're going to prop yourself up. You can go one knee at a time. Or you can go at a much faster pace if you want to go really quick every other leg, all right? So, here we are. We're up. Again, just like the first two rounds, I'm going to go nice and slow. Don't feel like you have to go as slow as me. You can go much quicker. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, you can come down and lie on your back. Bring your weights in close by and bring them with you. This is our overhead pullover we'll have next. We lie on our back, we put our arms straight up in the air, clip the weight together, we come up overhead nice and slow, and then you pull back to the top. Okay, so, we're going about five seconds, grab your weight, lie on your back, bend knees, straight up in the air with the weights, click them together, here we go. Three more. Make sure you keep the pace slow. Don't go too quick. We're going to keep that pressure low on the shoulders. All right, here's our last one. All right, bring the weights in. We have two to go. They're both going to be facing towards the ground. We have a Superman. Superman, you got to lie flat on the ground. You're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. Or if you want to go a little more challenging, you're going to lift all arms and legs off the ground at the same time. Okay, so it's either opposite arm, opposite leg, or all arms at the same time. So line your better. Go we'll three, two, one. Go ahead. Good, you guys keep going. I can't do this one with you, so just keep going on your own. Try to keep your head down. Again, all arms and legs at the same time, or you're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg, and then do the other arm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Might as well stay in that position. We got one more to go. That's our plank. We'll go in about 10 seconds or so. Off the knees is a modified plank. On the toes is a regular plank. So if you want to do a modified version, go off the knees. <laughs> so three, two, one. Last one. Here we go. Prop up. One last dance with my 
shaking hands I can barely stand Did I do too much? Did I push you away? I was in a rush, I'm sorry Hang in there, make sure your hips don't drop to the ground, keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, and you can come down, take a break, grab a drink. Alright guys, thank you for coming to class.